Becoming a legend requires a lot of dedication, focus, and self-discipline, even in the off-season. A well-thought-out routine can really do wonders, and it seems like Ronaldo understands that more than anyone else. So today, we're going to see what a day in the off-season looks like for Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, given how Ronaldo is one of the best football players to have ever been born, a lot of the time in his day is spent on exercising and training. Even in the off-season, when he's not expecting active playtime frequently, Ronaldo dedicates his time to training in order to keep fit. In fact, that's just how it begins. The superstar athlete spends roughly two hours exercising every morning. No wonder he maintains such a fit body and amazing stamina. Ronaldo routinely wakes up at 6 a.m. The first thing he does as he gets out of bed are a few basic stretches and some rehydration. After that, he starts his stamina training for a whole 90 minutes. When the training ends around 8 a.m., Ronaldo gets some well-deserved post-workout rest. So just two hours after getting up, Ronaldo takes a quality nap. The guy probably has a lot of passion for football since he naps for no more or no less than 90 minutes, probably winning an entire match in his dreams. You would actually be pretty surprised to know that, unlike most of us, Ronaldo does not even slack when he's on a nap. As soon as 90 minutes are up, Ronaldo gets immediately out of bed to start his day once again. This time, though, he does not immediately put his body to the test, rather rewarding it with a nutritious breakfast. Of course, you can choose from a variety of menus when you're worth almost a billion dollars, but Ronaldo's go-to option is usually a healthy combination of ham, cheese, yogurt, and some nice fruit juice. You would think that two hour long workout and 90 minute nap would have him going all gluttonous, but the legend sticks to his healthy routine and eats a balanced breakfast. After breakfast, Ronaldo chills for a bit before going off to his second most important task of the day, another workout. Since the first one was clearly not enough, Ronaldo goes in for a second round after replenishing his energy through breakfast around roughly 10.30 a.m. This time, though, he focuses on a more weightlifting and bodybuilding set of exercises rather than training particularly for his football passion. Again, this workout session lasts a good two hours. Interestingly enough, Ronaldo tries not to miss his workout sessions even if he's not feeling well. This is probably because you only need to break the routine once for everything to fall apart for good. Besides, this really gives out a message about how important self-discipline is on the path to success. I'm pretty sure Ronaldo can afford to slack off every now and then, but he chooses not to. And that's really the kind of focus that helps not just in achieving success, but also keeping it. But do you know what's essential for focus? Quality sleep. Perhaps no one understands that better than Ronaldo, since after his second workout, he schedules a second nap for himself around 12.30 p.m. I mean, come on. Ronaldo really cherishes his sleep. But then again, at least he doesn't let it come in the way of his goals. As long as he manages his sleeping hours carefully, I think it works just fine. When he wakes up at 2 p.m., lunch is served. I'm pretty sure his gourmet chef can whip him up some pretty nice meals, but nothing that compromises on the footballer's health. So... Lunch typically consists of things like some form of chicken and a nice salad. Following this, Ronaldo does something extremely important to his day, a nap. Yes, this is his third nap of the day. Lunch often makes one lazy, and Ronaldo really lets himself go to Dreamsville for a third time at around 3 p.m. Another 90 minute nap helps the football legend prepare for the next big thing on his timetable. At 4.30 p.m., Ronaldo has a second lunch, but this time it's even lighter with things like tuna, olives, eggs, and salad frequenting the dinner table. After such a well-thought-out routine so far, Ronaldo gives himself some personal time to tend to his varying tasks pending for the day. Between 4.30 and 7 p.m., 
Ronaldo does whatever is loosely available for him to put on his agenda. This could really be anything, from driving his sports cars to filing his tax returns. Everything that needs to be done gets done in this minuscule time slot. Afterward, Ronaldo finally has dinner at 7 p.m. This is perhaps the most exciting meal of the day for the champ, since he can really have no mercy on his taste buds. But just because he chooses to have a nice dinner does not mean he lets in anything that might compromise on his strict diet. When he's not eating out, Ronaldo's dinner usually consists of different forms of cooked or grilled meat, or sometimes seafood, particularly fish. Bread intake is minimized for the star athlete, and he focuses heavily on his protein. This keeps him healthy and helps maintain the high levels of performance expected from him. Between dinner and 8 p.m., Ronaldo again gets some free time to do anything haphazardly as he pleases. But as soon as the clock hits 8, Ronaldo leaves whatever he's doing to spend time with his loved ones. This is perhaps the most beautiful thing about Ronaldo's routine. He does not compromise on family. The man really understands that in the end, family is what truly matters. Often his friends would come over too, or he would take his family out. But no matter what the form, the next two hours are dedicated solely to any form of fun, family-oriented activity that really makes Ronaldo the ideal father and boyfriend. His four kids and girlfriend, Georgina Rodriguez, keep him occupied with laughter and joy. Although he tries to incorporate family into his routine throughout most of the day, even during his workouts, these are his happy hours, where they get to enjoy all his focus and attention. As soon as it's 10 p.m., Ronaldo and Georgina put their kids to sleep. And Ronaldo goes for a quality swim to help him relax and unwind from a typical day. From 10 to 11, he tries to calm himself, both physically and mentally, so that he can get a good night's sleep. At 11 p.m., Ronaldo usually hits the hay, looking forward to another day with the same routine tomorrow. Although to some degree, every day is different. These activities comprise the standard routine that Ronaldo prefers. Do you think you can maintain such a disciplined routine? Let us know in the comments. Also like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos, some of which are given here. You should definitely check them out.